Today, as we start to learn how to program our LEGO robots, we need to learn first of all how to open the EV3 software. Remember that our robots have a split personality. Although we are using the NXT body, we are programming the EV3. Our learning goal is to understand the proper use and the safe testing of the robot. So let us find out how to open it. I do apologize for my messy desktop. What you have to do is hunt for the Lego Mindstorms education, this little symbol. When you've got that, you click on it and it'll take quite a long time to, uh, to open. All you will see is this symbol down here. You will see it flashing yellow. So once it starts flashing yellow, you click on that and the system opens. This is the EV3. There are several ways to open a programming page. You can do File, New Project, Program. And again, this is a little slow and it'll open it. Or you can simply click the plus sign and that will open a new one as well. Either of those is fine. Now you'll notice that these are labeled Project 1 and Project 2. Each project can hold a number of programs. Here we've got one program and we can put in a new program. So now we've got two programs within the same project. If we go back to this project, Project 1, you'll see we haven't added the other program, so it's still only one. This is the area where you are going to program. This is, will become very useful later, but for the moment we don't want to worry about it. So you click on that little button there and it'll go away. This is your start button and here you have colored tabs. The tooltips show you what they are. The green tabs are action tabs. We have a medium motor a large motor, a move steering block, a move tank block, and other things we're not going to bother about right now. We also have a yellow flow control set of tabs, sorry, orange, yellow sensor tabs, red data operations, fancy blue things, and my blocks. The only one we're concerned with right now are the green action tabs. The programming will come later. Let me show you how to save your project. Now, what I would like you to do every time is to double click on the program and give it a sensible name. So put in your name and the assignment name. So let us say this is my Assignment 1, and I'll put my name after it. That way, when you get to the computer, to the robot, you'll know which one you're opening. You can't double-click on the project to change the name. The way to change the project name is to do a File, Save Project As, and you can give it a name. I'm going to call this one Test. So I'm going to save it as test. And now I have a project called test.ev3 containing a program called A1 Pereira. That's going to make it very easy for me to find my program when I'm trying to run it on the robot. Have fun.